my encouragement for those seeking peace right now is that um, no matter what you're going through, no matter what circumstances you're facing, no matter what um, you're going through, um, all of that is real and all of that carries weight and all of that um, is hard to navigate. And um, unless I've walked a mile in your shoes, I'm never gonna understand um, the anxiety, the fear, the crippling effects that everything this world has to offer can bring to you being at peace. Um, and so, you know, my beginning is, is that I empathize with you. I know that we all have different unique journeys and that the weights are going to be unique and different. Um, but I do want to encourage you in this is that, and, and it's going to sound kind of empty and I'm going to try not to make it sound empty. Um, because we say this a lot in church that right god created you with purpose that his hand um, individually crafted your life that he breathed life into you um and i want to and i, I want to say this to you um and, and i preached a message not that long ago uh, where it was a message that i i kind of wrote to my boys and the points were is that you are loved you are enough and so give it away. And those three points are the same ways that I wanna encourage you as you seek peace right now, is do not allow the idea that you are loved by your creator to become empty. Don't allow it to be empty. It is, it is, it is weighty and it is chock full of um, intentionality Love is not a feeling. It's not a fleeting thought. It's not a romantic thing. The love of your creator to you is right now, right where you're at, regardless of what's going on, regardless of how well you've done or how much you failed, regardless of any of the extenuating circumstances, regardless of what other people have told you, regardless of what your parents have said, peers have said, those with authority have said in your world, that it is an irrefutable fact that he loves you passionately. And his heart breaks when you are walking in a world that tries to tell you differently. And he cared so much that you knew this, that he sent his son to rescue you from the grip of a world that wants to enslave you into a chaos riddled um, weighty existence and wants to liberate you into a freedom found in the love that can only be found in Christ. So that's the first place. If you are pursuing peace, just begin to ask that God would reveal that to you and find people that speak that into your world. And if there's people that are around you that don't want to speak that into your world, I'm not saying you can't ever go back to them someday, but you need to find a circle of people that are going to speak those words into your life that are going to surround you they're going to tell you how much Christ loves you and are going to live it out to you. I'm speaking that to every single human here, no matter what you're walking through. Find those people. Um, you are enough. That was my second thing that I told my boys, and we talked about it already on this, this um, recording. Like, even if you're successful, if you're running the rat race well, I know because I've talked to enough of them. It is a, it is a cycle that you just have to keep feeding on it and feeding on it and feeding on it and feeding on it and it's futile and no promotion, no success, no uh, relationship, no marriage, no kid, no retirement, no vacation, nothing outside um, that you are trying to do is ever going to fulfill your peace. Never going to do it. And so if you're pursuing peace, like get those horse blinders on and just go, no, uh, I, need, I need this thing with Jesus, with God to become full and whole. And so try and eliminate that. I, I'm going to grab a book and I'm going to show it to you. And, and Ed was gonna, would guess which book this is because it's the book I tell everyone to read. Um, Renovation of the Heart by Dallas Willard. Um, I won't tell you that it's as easy of a read as um, the peace book we talked about before. But there is something about this idea of um, deconstructing the way in which we try and feed our soul um, with everything the world has to offer that impacts everything 
um, and how we live and how we operate in this world. And I've read that book probably about a dozen times now. And every time um, it, re it gives me the tools and the resources again to reconnect so that I can live an existence that you're enough, Andrew. You're enough, Edward. You're enough um, just as you are because I've created you to be enough. And it's in that place that then um, if you're seeking peace and you start to realize how much God loves you, how much he created you to be enough that you can now give it away to other people, be who God's called you to be. And it's that process and that pattern that you begin to find peace because now you're not doing from a place of accomplishment. You're doing from a place so that other people can experience the freedom found in Christ. And I think that's not just, that's not just my job as a pastor. I think that's, that's what God's called us all to be and to do. And so if you're pursuing peace, that's my encouragement. Thank you for watching this video. If you want more content, subscribe over here and watch the next video over there. God bless you.